appreciate you coming this afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here in Taiwan, uh, which is one of Intel's most important markets and where much of the industry's innovation is taking place today. I don't think anyone here would disagree that Intel and the Taiwan IT industry are the center of the global PC industry. Taiwan, after all, produces nearly three quarters of the world's personal computers. IDC recently published some incredible statistics about what computing might look like in 2020. They predict 50 trillion gigabytes of data, 2 trillion financial transactions a year, 31 billion connected devices, and 4 billion connected people. This is the kind of world we're going to live in. The implications of this are of particular interest to me, and how we shape this future is the focus of my talk today. Today I wanted to share my perspectives about what's next in the evolution of computing and the exciting opportunities that lie ahead for Intel and for Taiwan's IT industry. Let me start by looking at the state of the computing market today. PC has made a profound impact over the last 30 years. It's now become an indispensable part of everyone's day-to-day -day life. And the PC industry is achieving a significant milestone this year with one million PCs sold every day. I think this momentum will continue, and I'm not alone. Third-party analysts are projecting that the PC segment will grow next year between 12 and 18 percent. It's quite amazing that an industry that is shipping a million units a day is still growing at these amazing rates. As our industry has been able to innovate, bring costs down, and scale to deliver PCs to users all over the world. We've been able to we've enabled access to information and connections between people in ways that we could not have imagined even a decade ago. Our progress here as an industry is something to be truly proud of. And in my view, in my view, Taiwan has played a critical role in that. This brings me to the second portion of my remarks how computing is changing. New device categories are emerging at a rapid pace to bring computing experiences into every aspect of our lives. There are about 5 billion devices now connected to the Internet. Of these, about 2.8 billion of these devices are what I would now call smart. These are devices that have sufficient local intelligence and connectivity to be able to give the user a multifunction, multidimensional experience. And the number of smart devices is expected to grow to double to over 5 billion by 2014 in just the next four years. For many years, high-speed connectivity has been a bottleneck for both access and sharing content. But that is changing. Last year, worldwide residential broadband subscriptions grew to 573 million households. This year, 3G will touch a billion users by the end of the year. And while 3G is great, it's not fast enough for the type of usage models that are emerging. I am encouraged, however, that 4G technologies like WiMAX and LTE are building momentum. WiMAX is the leading 4G technology with major carriers already deploying WiMAX in nearly 150 countries. All six carriers in Taiwan have launched commercial services, along with providers in Japan, Malaysia, and several other leading Asian countries. In addition, millions of WiMAX devices that were innovated in Taiwan are now being sold worldwide. We are excited about WiMAX's progress globally and particularly the progress here in Taiwan. Here in Taiwan, accomplishments over the last few years have been tremendous, including the release of Spectrum licenses, the government's M Taiwan program, and the exciting range of WiMAX services being offered, such as V's and VMAX's in-car WiMAX services for taxis. I don't think we are very far from a world where every electronic device 
will be connected to the internet. This growth in new device categories will enable many new and exciting usage models. For example, televisions and set-top boxes are getting smarter and will change more in the next year than they have in the last 50 years. Seamless integration of the microprocessor and the internet into these devices will put people in control of what they want to watch from any source, seamlessly drawing the best content from broadcast and from the internet. But the evolution of computing usage models won't stop there. Smart home controls, for example, will help people get real-time two-way communication back and forth from their utility companies so they can manage the energy consumption of all of the devices in their homes. And high-tech sensors and video conferencing technology will expand the ability, ability to deliver quality health care in the home for elderly people with chronic diseases. The potential applications for computing outside of the home are even more stunning. Imagine what happens to the internet what, when the internet connects everything from cars to digital signs to vending machines to wind turbines and even your shopping cart. Computing is moving beyond the PC into a wide range of smart devices for two fundamental reasons. First of all, the internet itself is becoming increasingly pervasive and useful in our daily lives, offering more access to information and people that is more and more useful and value, valuable to all of us. The need and desire to be always connected is strong and growing. Secondly, the cost of computing continues to decrease courtesy of Moore's Law. I believe that consumers ultimately want to have consistency and interoperability across all of their devices, making computing a seamless experience regardless of where they are, what they are doing, or what their needs at any particular time might be. I refer to this end state as the compute continuum. But what does this mean for Intel and for Taiwan's IT industry? Well, I believe that this compute continuum is the most exciting, profound change in the computing landscape that our industry has ever experienced. And the creation of a truly seamless, interoperable experience across all devices is a wonderful opportunity for our company, as well as for Taiwan's IT industry, as each new category of computing is in itself an area for growth. Together we have the opportunity to create a world where nearly all individuals can get the information and entertainment they want anytime, anywhere, whether they're, in their, whether they're on their PC or on their smartphone or watching television or in a car or even out shopping. As many of you know, Intel is building out its capabilities across our portfolio of products to deliver this vision over the coming years. Our goal is that Intel technology will sit at the heart of this continuum, making the cloud and all the devices that connect to it smarter, more powerful, and more useful. To do this, we've been extending our chip design and our manufacturing techniques and our software expertise to offer more complete solutions that deliver energy efficient performance, internet connectivity, and security across a large and dynamic range of devices. It remains clear that with the proliferation of devices and applications, a seamless experience of devices is becoming more and more urgent. It's a problem that we as an industry have not yet solved. In addition, the proliferation of smarter internet connected devices has also resulted in exponential growth in data and content being created, stored, and shared. This in turn has also created engineering and scaling challenges and opportunities for the internet cloud and data center segments. And while we are committed to putting our assets to work to take on these challenges, we cannot do it alone. We need a wide variety of partners that can innovate, develop, and deliver a wide range of devices and enterprises and enterprise solutions and scale to meet the demands of users worldwide. Here I see a great opportunity for Taiwan. I see no better partner for us than the IT industry here in Taiwan. No one else, after all, has the same track record 
for commercializing innovation. For example, Taiwan's companies made the world's first netbooks and continue to boost their share of the overall global PC market. The growth of the industry here has been tremendous. Yet I believe the opportunity mo moving forward is better than ever. As computing proliferates to new devices, new usage models, new places on the planet, the landscape is going to get more complex, but if we work together, we can make it simpler. This is precisely why I believe that the compute continu continuum is an opportunity for Intel and Taiwan to pursue together. In the process, we can, we can continue to grow together and make a difference in the world. And this brings me to the final portion of my remarks. While Taiwan's IT industry has been setting the bar for technological progress, its government has correctly recognized the IT sector as is an engine for the nation's economic growth. Today we're announcing new and extended partnerships with Taiwan's government's industry ecosystem and its education system. So what are we announcing today? First, Intel will support the Ministry of Economic Affairs Cloud Computing Development Initiative, which will enable Taiwan to rapidly capitalize on the growth of cloud computing. Secondly, Chunghua Telecom will join the Open Data Center Alliance, an independent industry task force initiated by Intel and several, several other leading global businesses. Third, Intel will extend its long collaboration with the Ministry of Education. To foster Taiwan's next generation of innovators, Intel will work with the university system on curricula and other programs to help the schools keep pace with advances in, in the computing industry, such as parallel computing. And lastly, Intel and the National Science Council will establish a joint R&D facility at a leading research university that will focus on addressing the technical challenges for the growing set of connected, embedded computing devices. These initiatives aim to sustain and accelerate Taiwan's competitiveness as a leading center for the innovation for the global IT industry. These partnerships also illustrate the government's clear, forward-looking IT strategy. This is a strategy that promotes innovation and investment to ensure its IT firms continue to be global leaders. We, we believe that the combination of Intel and Taiwan's long and fruitful history of partnership and computing innovation, our joint commitment to education, and our proven ability to anticipate and respond to market demands is extremely powerful and remarkably synergistic. I'm optimistic that we can take a giant step forward in advancing cloud computing, maintaining the quality of Taiwan's IT talent, and smarter and more secure communications between connected devices. These are incredibly exciting and timely opportunities for Intel and Taiwan's IT industry. We look forward to helping Taiwan continue its legacy as a technology leader by working together to create new market opportunities based upon smart, connected computing solutions. With that, I'd like to turn things over to our partners so you can hear more about the work that we'll all be doing together. Thank you.